Welcome to HortTube, where we talk all things gardening. My name is Jim Putnam, and this is a Miss Huff Lantana. This is Miss Huff Lantana, an all summer flowering plant that's kind of different things in different places. In some areas, this plant will die to the ground and come back from the roots. And in some areas, it's actually a little evergreen shrub. But in all areas, it flowers almost all summer long. Miss Huff Lantana can reach four to six feet in height and four to six feet in width, but could easily be kept a more moderate two to three feet in height and two to three feet in width. In terms of which horticultural zones Miss Huff can grow in, this plant is actually different things to different people. It can grow in horticultural zones seven to 11. And in seven, eight, and nine, this plant is a herbaceous perennial. It actually dies to the ground, the top part of the plant, and the roots are winter hardy, and it comes back the following spring from, from those roots. In zones 10 and 11, this is actually just an evergreen shrub. Uh, it becomes a woody plant and you know, it can get quite big. In a, in a space like that, but it could also be cut to the ground in those areas as well. But this plant, like I say, it is different things to different people, but it will grow in zones seven to 11. Miss Huff Lantana can grow between four and six feet in a single season. In terms of sun or shade on Lantana, they all need almost all day full sun. At least half of the midday sun and all the way to absolute full sun would be best. In terms of usage for Miss Huff Lantana, it's going to get taller than most other herbaceous perennials, you know, the perennials that die to the ground and come back every season. So typically, if you're gonna plant it in a perennial border, you would do it as probably the backdrop for the perennial border. Could be used on a foundation in front of other evergreen plants and then kept a little smaller than those evergreens during the growing season. I typically would, Probably the best use for this plant would be planted in mass where we would plant several of them together it would be quite colorful and maybe another variety of lantana in front of it like new gold is a yellow variety that would really stand out well against this two-tone colored variety. Miss Huff lantana has a beautiful two-tone flower. It's a yellow toward the center and shades of orange surrounding it and blooms mostly all summer long once it gets hot. These will wait until almost June to start flowering and then they'll flower right until almost first frost in the fall. In terms of planting Miss Huff Lantana or any Lantana, our main concern is gonna be that we don't want them to stay wet during the winter time when they're dormant in the upper zones, you know, seven, eight, and nine, when these things are dormant in the winter time. If they stay wet, they're likely going to rot during the winter and not come back in the spring. So we want to elevate these when we plant them. If you have clay soils, you're definitely going to want to mix some pine bark soil conditioner in just to ground pine bark 50, 50 with the clay and then dig your hole as if you're going to plant this entire root ball in the ground and then mix some of that pine bark soil conditioner in with your clay, put that back in the bottom of the hole about maybe an inch or two, and then take your lantana out, set it in the hole so that it, the lantana is sticking up maybe one or two inches above the original soil line. Pull your soil up to the edge of that and then mulch lightly. We definitely don't want to bury this plant in mulch. That wouldn't be a good idea. You'd just be inviting pest near the base of this plant and you'd hold too much water near the base of this plant, which is another concern. If you have very sandy soils, you might want to add some compost or some peat moss or some cow manure 50-50 with the sand to keep a little moisture in place in between rains. This lantana happens to be grown in a three gallon container. Most of the time you're going to buy these in a one gallon container and the plant's going to be, could be almost this big in a tiny little container. And the roots are going to be matted together when you pull it out of the container. You're going to want to pull it those pretty vigorously to break them apart some or even slice them. Uh, maybe three times around, straight down with a knife, maybe a half inch deep, just to cut some of those roots and get those roots going outward instead of continuing to wrap around one another. In terms of watering, Miss Huff Lantana or any Lantana, these are extremely drought tolerant. Almost no drought would kill these, but the problem is if you let it become too dry, it'll stop flowering. It flowers on new growth throughout the season. And so if it gets too dry, it's gonna stop growing therefore it's gonna stop flowering. So if it gets dry between rains, I would drag a water hose over to this. And when you water it, drown it. 
and then let it dry out between waterings. I do that drown and forget technique. Works very, very well for watering. I don't like to do the little bit of water every day. That almost discourages plants from rooting out into the surrounding soil. If they stay wet right at the base of the plant all the time, there's really no reason for it to go hunting for water. In terms of fertilizing lantana, we'd want to use a slow release fertilizer on these, maybe late March as they're starting to come out of dormancy in zones eight or nine. In zone seven, these are probably late April before they're coming out of dormancy or even May. And we want to fertilize them as we see them start to coming out from their winter rest with a slow release fertilizer. Anything that would promote flowering, flower tone would be a great organic option. You could use any of the miracle Grow products probably for these would encourage flowering. And you could do it multiple times. You could do it in the mid spring as they're emerging and then again in the early to mid summer. And that would keep between that and some occasional waterings, you can keep these flowering pretty heavily all summer long. Okay, in terms of pruning on lantana, you could prune them any time during the growing season that you need to, to control the height or the width on these, no problem. And a little bit of pruning a couple times during the season will encourage more flowering. If I cut this stem, that's a single stem right here, if I cut it here, it's going to branch and then I'm gonna get flowers on the end of both of those branches. So that, that little bit of pruning will increase your flowering quite a bit. Winter pruning is a different issue. If you're in zone seven, eight, or nine, and you're using this as a herbaceous perennial where you're, you know, you're wanting it to come back every season after it dies to the ground, do not cut this plant back until March, until you're past the worst of your winter cold. The top part of this plant seems to offer some insulation to the roots of this plant. It'll be very, very tempting because it's not very attractive in January or February to have these dead stems on the top of it but it seems to offer some protection. And the stems are slightly hollow on some herbaceous perennials, and I think that allows water to go down those stems, and then free, that freeze and thaw process actually cracks the roots and the base of the plant. They do get quite a few insect problems. We'll see aphids on these, we'll see mites on these, we'll see a few chewing insects on these. Deer rarely ever mess with them. I would put them in the deer resistant category. But almost certainly, if you tucked this plant up in a corner and it had no air movement on it, you would see some sort of insect problems. Even white flies like to be on these, especially if they weren't getting a lot of air movement. White flies can be a real problem in that situation. There are organic and chemical options for both. So what are you waiting for? Even you can grow the all summer flowering Miss Huff Lantana. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Also comment below with any suggestions for future videos or additional questions you might have on Lantana. Thank you for watching.